The lights are about to go down inside the Houston Arena Theatre where Legacy Fighting Championship number 59 was one of the most violent nights of action we have ever seen. G'day everybody, Michael Chevella, UFC Hall of Famer, Pat Militich with you. Pat, what a night of action we saw. It began with Adrian Yanez waking up in the second round and then proceeding to defeat Colin Wright with a sub in the third. Yeah, Colin Wright rocked him a couple times in the first round, but Yanez came out, beautiful striking, slick ground, and gets the submission. Yanez goes 5-1, and one, Wright falls to 5-3 and three in their bantamweight contest. Domingo Pilarte took just 38 seconds to absolutely obliterate, annihilate, and thrash Chris Pham. Uh, Pham not paying attention to that high kick, eats that shin bone, and then it's all downhill from there, trying to survive, getting back up here, but gets blistered with more punches. Pilarte looking crisp. Pilarte going six and one, Chris Pham falling to five and six. Co-main event of the evening was an absolute rip snorter. Justin Riseberg pulling off the upset, becoming the first man to beat Jason Langelier. Not only beat him, Pat, he sent him to La La Land. Yeah, Langelier just making a huge mistake, not using his reach or his height, and going to the ground continually with Riseberg. Riseberg is very good on the ground. Riseberg wanted to be on the ground, so he had no problem being there with Langelier. They eventually end up on the ground, back and forth, tussle on the ground, but Riseberg, his experience and his ground game pays off. A beautiful triangle armbar combination, and Langelier takes a nap. Riseberg 11 and 6, Langelier now has a blemish on his record, he's 4 and 1. Main event unforgettable, particularly the second round, which was one of the most violent rounds of action you'll ever see between Giles and Villanueva. Yeah, Giles gets the better of these replays, certainly, because he ate some nasty punches also. Giles got dropped in this fight, back and forth in the second round. Both guys, heart of a warrior, but Giles doing a great job. Better endurance is what won him this fight in my mind, and he stays undefeated. Giles now 8 and 0 oh, says he wants a phone call from the UFC. Ike Villanueva put up a valiant effort as a huge underdog. He falls to 12 and 8. Giles, who can stop this man? Folks, join us next Friday night from Foxwood Resort and Casino where CES 38 will be a happening.